Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing a book review on The Summer I Died by Ryan C. Thomas. This is a fiction, horror, thriller, suspense. When I say this is a, a pretty gruesome read, I'm being serious. Like, it's pretty gruesome. Like, I've read some pretty gruesome stuff before. I listen to a lot of true crime podcasts and documentaries. This one, definitely, there's parts in there where you're just like, like my stomach actually kind of dropped at one point. Um, so if you're not into gory books, you're gonna want to skip this one. I have seen several YouTubers do like little reviews or saying like this is definitely like a very memorable book. So me and my buddy Wade, we did a buddy read on it and we both came to like the conclusion at the end of it that it was definitely a good book and worth the read. Our main male lead is Roger. Now, Roger is home for the summer from college. He has a best friend, a best friend whose name is Tooth, who is the same age. They've been friends for like forever. Roger also has a little sister named Jamie. She's not necessarily like a very big thing in the beginning, but she ends up playing a, a part or a bigger-ish kind of part later on. But um, Roger and Tooth kind of are like just like the best of buds like they can look at each other and kind of think about what the other one's saying if they bring up like a movie like even a part of a movie the other one is like oh yeah you're talking about this movie we watched it then like they're just like really connected they're like the best of best friends so Roger and Tooth go out shooting together and they go back home they spend the night at Roger's house and they decide to go out shooting again um and they have different kind of lifestyles right like Tooth is called Tooth because like his dad ran him over with a car and knocked out like six of his teeth. So he has fake teeth, so that's why he's called Tooth. His dad's an alcoholic, his mom's like gone, while Roger, on the other hand, has kind of like more like that perfect kind of lifestyle setting, like where his parents are great and you know, he's gone to college and just like everything's fine and dandy. Roger is definitely like the nerdy friend. He likes Star Wars and comic books and superhero, like all that stuff. So he's like the nerdy friend. Whereas Tooth is kind of more like the redneck friend. I don't know how else to phrase it. I like Tooth, don't get me wrong. I did, I like Tooth. A lot of their like initial conversations in the beginning kind of gave me like the old school greaser feel. I don't know how else to describe it. It's just like the writing style kind of just made me think more like 1950s era high school punks like the ones with like the slicked hair and the leather jackets and like the little shanks. I don't know why. That's just like in my brain that that kind of imagery kept popping up. Um, but it's not based back then. It's based now just to be clear. So uh, Tooth, Roger, they go out shooting for a second time out in the mountains, like away from where they normally would. They don't tell nobody where they're going. Red flag. <laughs> they don't tell no one where they're going. Um, and they go shooting. They have a great time. They're like on their way to leave to go get burgers and they hear a woman scream. And you know, they're like, what the heck? Now this is where like Roger kind of becomes like a little pussy. <laughs> he just, he, he wants to go help but then at the same time, he doesn't. And I had really conflicted feelings about Roger for a long time because Roger is such a little biatch. Like, he definitely has like a lot of self-preservation in him where he doesn't want to go and do anything that might cause harm on himself. But at the same time, he's like, someone's in trouble, we should go see. But then he's like, wait a minute, we probably shouldn't. Like, we should probably get out of here. Okay, so it's kind of like this little weird back and forth. Whereas Tooth is just like, don't be such a biatch and like, let's go and see and figure it out. Well, they end up finding um, a cabin in the woods by itself, just out there randomly, second red flag. And when they approach this cabin, a young female comes running out and she is somewhat restrained to a certain degree and she's being chased by a guy that is henceforth known as skinny man and skinny man is a psycho now originally i wasn't sure if the author was going to go where there was actually like weird demons that were telling skinny man to do the things he was doing or if skinny man's just like crazy 
you know, or what was going to happen. Now, I, aside from me just getting to this point and saying that they do become imprisoned by this man and stuff happens, I'm not going to go any further past that point because I do think if you like horror, suspenseful, this would be a good read for you. And I, like, I didn't give that much away. This is, like, maybe the first four or five chapters I've just barely touched upon. But I don't want to give more than that away because I think you should read it honestly. It was a, it was a good book. Like I said, some parts were hard. I listened to the audiobook. Some parts were hard to, um, listen to just because I'm a very mentally visual person anyway. So I can like, in my mind's eye, I can see a lot of this stuff happening and I'm just like, wow, that's really gross and like really messed up. But in, in a good way, because you know, you read to feel something, right? At least I do not just to be entertained, but because I want to feel, I want to escape this reality for a little bit and go into someone else's reality. Now this one definitely does. Once you get to the point where they get to the cabin, I personally, that was when I was very invested in the book. Like I said, I think it was, um, I think it was pretty well written. Uh, and once I got to that point, I was all in and I was excited. It's a pretty fast read. You could probably read it within a day or two. Roger does have some growth, like character growth in there. Uh, I would say that even though Tooth is kind of like, kind of like an immature little horn dog, you, you kind of got to remember like he's, he's 19, but I think in general Tooth was a good character. I actually kind of liked him more for quite a while compared to Roger, just because Roger, like I said, kind of has like he's just not as um strong-willed confident I don't know how to he, like, like I said before he just kind of like a little biatch in certain points and the thoughts that he has while they're in captivity is kind of messed up but at the same time you do have to question what would you think and what would you feel if you were in that situation they say there's like the fight and flight instincts of human or humans, right? So it wouldn't be too far of a stretch to think, well, you know, maybe he's thinking this way because he's only thinking about his own survival. And maybe he feels this way because he's only thinking about himself. And he, and really he does. And I don't know, I would hope if I was in that situation, I wouldn't be thinking those kind of selfish thoughts. Um, but I don't know, maybe I would. I've never been in that situation before, so it's kind of hard to say. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. Like I said, pick it up. It's a good book. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone.